Hey everybody, it's Chris with Killer Arcade Games and today we've got more to do for the Hydro Thunder cabinet. Uh, today is going to be taking out the marquee, cleaning it, removing these stickers, uh, getting the bugs out of it, taking the old print out. Unfortunately, it's cracked and yellowed and it's just time to get rid of it. I'm going to be putting a new print in, possibly changing out the light fixture inside to make it LED. But what I'll have to do is just order it or buy one and then put it in later and we'll edit it all in as if it happened today. And uh, the only way you'll know it was different is I'll be sweating like crazy because it's going to be nearly 100 degrees next week. It's going to be rough and it'll be a true test of if I want to actually keep this thing in the garage and play it every now and then or if I'm going to feel like there's no way I want to sit out here when it's that hot and play it. And I kind of worry about making this thing run when it's you know 100 degrees outside. It's old. I don't want to wear on the components earlier than it needs to be. So we'll see what happens. But for now, let's get this marquee cleaned up and changed out. So really quickly, I'll just show you a uh, what it looks like before, which is covered in stickers. These are actually like three or four or five deep. Maybe I'll peel these off and try to see how many years it was registered to run in te the state of Texas. That is for a county, I think it says Cameron County. Yeah, I don't have any idea where Cameron County is. I assume down near the border. And then look here, we've got a dead spider It'll focus, where is it? A dead spider in there. Parts of another bug up here. And then right here, I, I think that might be, actually it looks like an ant maybe. I thought it was a German roach, but I think it's an ant. Almost looks like a carpenter ant, but anyway. The print is yellowed pretty badly. And there is a rip up here. I don't really know how these rips happen unless somebody was messing with it, but I thought it was the glass at first, but the glass is solid, probably really, really dirty. So I'll have the glass taken off, I'll get it cleaned up. So on top of the cabinet, there are just three screws up here holding it on. It looks like there used to be more, but there's only three left right now. This is very hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to have to take it off and then show you guys later. All right, I'm going to try to reveal this at the exact same time I'm seeing it. I took the top bracket off, the glass will just fall if I let it go. So I'm going to open it up, or at least lean it forward, hopefully. Well, let me see if I can just get the glass out safely without potentially dropping it. Oh, and there's the print coming with it. Oh. All right, it's really not that bad in there. So here's a look through the glass, which is extremely dirty. Bugs are stuck to it instead of on the print. And we've got this here, but it's pretty nasty. I'll show you the print next, it's funny. I can only assume this is the original print, uh, but you can see how bad it's yellowed by moving out a little bit and you can see the edge where it was not hit by the light. This area at the top, the strip, was actually tucked up inside the clamp and it's perfectly blue and there's a yellow line that runs down it. Uh, same thing at the bottom, just not as bad, it's not as obvious. All that said though, this is a thick print. It must be the original, it's, it's hard to tell, but it sounds like a like when you shake a saw around. I don't think the new print I ordered is quite this thick, but it's really cool. I don't know that I can throw this away. I mean, this is like a, a piece of arcade, Midway Arcade history. I think I may have to keep this somewhere. It's just cool to say I have an original Midway Arcade marquee. Oop, the wind's blowing it. And right as I said, oop, the wind's blowing it, it ripped it more. So that's what I get for being nostalgic and talking about it. Well, otherwise, like I said, it's pretty clean in here. Um, I'm actually kind of not bothered by it. I'll just run the vacuum through it real quick. Speakers are good size, but not as big as I thought for how loud they are. Clean the bulb a little bit and I may leave it alone for now, but maybe I'll switch it to an LED one of these days. It's worth noting too that this cabinet's never going to see the runtime like it did in a real arcade. You know, if it stays in my possession, it's going to run probably a couple hours a week, unless I can get it in the house. Once it's in the house, I'll run it a lot more. And that's when I'll certainly change this bulb out. But still, it's not off the table. I'm just saying, if I don't change it out, don't yell at me, guys. <laughs> it was so nasty, we decided just to wash it in the sink. And you can already see the nasty, kind of see the nasty water coming off of it. And here's the brand new print. I can't even honestly remember where I got it from, but I will uh, 
I'll try to remember to put it in the description. It was just an eBay seller, but it was a good price. I think I only paid $25 for it with shipping. Here is the marquee installed. Seems like it's a darker print maybe than the original, but maybe that's just what happens with age. So I like it. I think it's sharp. Um, really helps the cabinet look a whole lot better. Speaking of the cabinet looking better, this thing's really coming together nicely. The new marquee helps a lot. The cleanup helped tremendously. And of course, getting the throttle put on was a big deal too. So what I'm gonna be doing now is, uh, you can see this boost is really ugly. It used to be white in there, now it's just kinda dirty, um, and the white has worn off. I'm gonna take this off so I can also fix that and this button is supposed to light up. It's the only button on the cabinet that the light is out on. So I'm gonna pull it off, replace the light inside of there. I'm gonna have my wife take this piece upstairs and she's really good at painting stuff. So I don't wanna try painting it and then have paint everywhere. She's gonna take care of that for me. Now, if you look up under here, I've gotta remove these two screws to get this part off. And then there's more screws to get all this off. Once you get this off, I didn't realize initially, but there's actually three screws here that were hidden to me. There's a screw here, screw here, and screw here, and that will let the top piece come off. Now that this is off, we can pop open the plastic here. And inside here is the button and the wiring. And there's a lot of wiring in here. It looks like it's been spliced back together. So I'm gonna try my best to not let it fall off for one. You can just slide the button up out of its part there. I can then take this inside, let my wife paint it, and I'll put it all back together while I hopefully figure out how to get the light out of here. It looks like there's a nut here you can unscrew. It's just like a regular button nut, but it's a lot smaller. You can unscrew this, get the button out, and hopefully get the light out of there. All right, it's a couple days later now, and I took the button out and thought, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this light bulb here. Excuse my torn up hands, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna fix this light bulb in here and I could not get the bulb to come out of here. This thing would not release. And uh, anyway, so while trying to do that, I broke off the piece, one of the pieces that holds on this tiny micro switch. <sighs> so instead of trying to fix it or pull it out of there and just, I just ordered a new whole new button that already has the, um, light installed, which is, where is that? Right here. New button, light installed. I'm just gonna use this same micro switch because I'm finding as I'm taking this off that these aren't just plugged in like normal arcade buttons. They were, these are basically just soldered on and pulling them off means I ended up just ripping the wire. So I'm not gonna bother trying to redo all these wires. I'm just gonna, um, hopefully put them on myself. I don't have a soldering iron. I've never soldered a thing in my life. I'm gonna try to get away without doing that. The new button is installed. I genuinely, like I said, I have no idea if this is gonna work. I just crimped these on to the leads. I'm gonna actually turn it on now and hopefully I don't explode my uh, Hydro Thunder. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, I see it lighting up. I better be careful. Okay, just stop. Hydro Thunder! We'll see what happens. The button will stop blinking. We'll Choose see. your lost island! Choose and your torpedo! I got go! One last thing I want to check into is this. This is the this is the plug for the arcade. You can see the ground has fallen out. Um, I think I might be able to swap it out with just one I've got lying around. So I'm going to pop open the back panel and take a look. 
So if you look down in here, this power cord, it comes out of the power supply, which is still dusty, uh, goes out this back piece here. I'm going to take this off and see what I can see if I can actually just unplug it and pull it out. I really don't know. So this appears to be the case. It looks like I can just pull this. It's knotted for some reason. Maybe they did that on purpose. Pull this out. And I have, I think I have more of these lying around. All right, since this is just kind of plug and play, I just plugged one in, ran it out the back, and I'm going to put the plate back on, and everything's working. Now it's grounded, at least. I, I don't know how important it really is, but I assume they designed it that way for a reason, and I would like to keep it grounded. All right, and the throttle has now been painted, put back on. Um, looks much better than it did before. I mean, if you see it in person, you can tell it's been repainted, but uh, up close, it really doesn't look bad at all. I mean, my wife did a good job, so I'm happy with that. I do have another issue. For some reason, um, these lights have all gone out and this light went out. It all happened suddenly. I don't really know what happened, but I put this new light in, tested it. Everything worked just fine. But when I did put this back together and started up the cabinet, the cabinet booted up just fine. This light was blinking. All these lights were blinking as usual. And then something went horribly wrong when I pressed the button to start. The game actually rebooted itself and we ended up with no lights left. I actually found that the throttle wire may have been smashed at some point. Maybe somebody put it on wrong. I don't think I did it wrong, so I don't know what caused it, but once I added the light, I think, and pushed the button, I think it was just too much for it and it caused something to short and now we've got uh, no lights. But it's fine with me. Um, I like to have the lights working, but if it means not having to potentially break the rest of this cabinet, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I wanted to say that this thing would be pretty much done and better off. Uh, I think it is better. I think the marquee looks a lot better. I think the cabinet looks a lot better in general, especially having that boost painted. But the fact that the lights have now gone out is kind of depressing and the monitor is getting worse somehow. I don't know what's caused it, but it used to be where I would leave the monitor on for about an hour and then I'd come out to play it and it would look really good, look pretty normal. Now it's reversed. Now when I turn the machine on, it looks about the best it's gonna look for maybe 20 minutes and then it gets so blurry it's pretty much unplayable. Um, I don't know what's causing that. I knew the monitor was bad when I pretty much bought it. I mean, it's not bad, it just needs work. But uh, now I'm stuck in the position of, do I wanna replace this with a TV? Do I wanna try to fix it myself? Or do I wanna pay somebody to fix it? I don't know where I'm going with that just yet. So you might notice that uh, I've had a haircut sometime during this video, but really what happened is I started recording this probably a month ago. We'd worked on a lot of this a while back. I just haven't had a chance to get it all together. Now that it's kind of done at the moment, um, I'm happy to say it's it's good to go, as good as it's going to be for now. But it's also gotten so hot here in Texas that I haven't even wanted to come out here and mess with it. The only reason I'm out in the garage today is a cold front blew in last night and it's like 65 today and very nice. That will not last. So I think it's kind of proven or answered the question of, do I wanna play this thing in the summer? Do I wanna store it in here during the summer? I think the answer is probably no. I mean, it was oppressively hot and I just didn't enjoy it when I did try to play it. So there's a chance this thing may end up in storage. There's also a chance it may end up sold. But either way, if I do get to working on the monitor, I'll definitely make a video on it. I'll definitely show you guys how it went in the process, but I got a lot of thinking to do. Do I wanna keep the thing? Do I wanna put it in storage? I love the game and I think I got it for a good price so I may just put it in storage and work on it later, fix the monitor when I'm ready to pull it out, but we'll see. But hopefully you found this video enjoyable and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more arcade content. I just missed out on an unbelievable Killer Instinct 2 deal recently, $300 for a KI2 cabinet. It was about four hours away, I knew there was almost no chance I'd make it before someone else and sure enough they beat me to it and it's gone. But Anyway, hopefully we'll see more arcade stuff on the channel. I did buy a trailer that lets me easily pick up an arcade game if I need to. It's actually just stored right outside my house in the side yard, which is great. I don't have to go to a storage unit. I just go hitch it up and get out of here to go pick up the game. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.